Hello, and welcome to our product review segment. So this is where we take a product that's on the market and test it to see whether it does what the manufacturer says it does. Cool. Like case in point, today we have this. The Zando something or... Atomic the, uh, metal conditioner with metal element. Yes, the atomic metal conditioner. So what it does is it cures one out metal. And by curing, I mean resurfacing it. Yeah, it, it adds a coat. Yeah, it kind of like adds a coat to uh -huh. one out metal. Uh -huh. So now we have two types of tests, yes? We yeah. have the scientific test and the real world test. So uh, unfortunately we can't do the scientific test this time because we don't have the time start opening up an engine yeah, that's, that's to fill the metal and see if it's smooth enough. Exactly. But with the real world test, which I'll explain shortly, we're going to check the fuel consumption and the compression, which the difference that this creates in an engine. Yeah, that should give us an idea whether it does exactly what it says it does. Exactly. Yeah. So now, the test. With me here, I have a car, a man, and some tools. What we're going to do is the compression test. Yeah, yeah. Because if the metal is worn out, mm -hmm. you'll most likely have low compression in the yeah. engine. So we'll do the compression test now, then we'll do another one after. After we the, the product. What was it again? The conditioner. The conditioner. Yes, that. The Atomic conditioner. metal conditioner. <laughs> that is one of the two tests that we're doing today. Yeah. So, shall we let him get on with his work? Yeah, let's get on. Okay. okay. What did we get? This says nine. It would be interesting to see if we get some change. Yeah. yeah. Let's put it on. So JM, yeah. we've just, uh, we have a full tank of yeah. fuel uh -huh. and we are heading to Namanga. Yep, for our economy test. Yes. Yep. So, the product we are working on today, mm. uh, I have a story here uh, that was sent by the guys. Uh -huh. And uh, the USSR here, so, yeah. the we, Soviet we are Union, talking, eh? <laughs> this, we are going back the Soviet a while, Union. yes. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, I'm saying Zado because I'm thinking Xavier. Sado. Yeah, I don't know if it's Sado. an X before. It's not Sado. <laughs> it's Chala. 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 Vibranium. Yeah, vibranium, man. That thing. Uh -huh. Maybe this is like vibranium. It sounds. It sounds. It sounds it, like it's, vibranium. It's some, some, yeah, something. Some kind of something wonder, special, right? yeah. Yeah. So what's the sense? So what they sent me? Kind of uh, let me let me read it to you. Uh -huh. So as you know, USSR invested a lot of money in defense industry in one part of the country. Military scientists tried to solve one problem. Yeah. They wanted to allow their tanks or other military machines which were blown up and um, lost engine oil in the battlefield to leave the combat zone and to come uh, move to a safer place. One day in the Kola Peninsula at the mining operation area, the miners noticed that some of the drills uh, that worked through the gigan uh, granite rock yeah. were reinforced during the operation and cut the rock each uh, better each time. Uh, they researched the reason for this uh, phenomenon and found out that the strength and drills went through the element called serpentinite. Serpentinite? Serpentinite. I think Something I've heard about of a that. snake. Yeah, I think I've heard of serpentinite.
Dad Namanga. Yep. Would you like to drive back? Sure. So now we've come to the end of part one of our test. Well, we've done the compression test. We got it as a nine point something. Eight, nine, yeah. yeah around eight point yeah. nine, eight point nine, yeah. around nine. Then we've also done our fuel economy test and it was a bit thirsty, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's um, 8.7. The 90s, the 90s were good times. Yeah, it came to 8.7. <laughs> yeah. This is the stage that we put putting the product into the engine. Before using it, you have to shake well. Shake well before you use, open it up, pour it into the engine. Yeah, so now after you do this, you're not exactly ready to go. You first have to kind of run the engine in. You have yeah, to you get have it to mix in with the oil. You have to give it time to work. Yeah, 200 kilometers should do it. Yeah, yeah. They, they give yeah. a recommendation of 200 to 300 kilometers. Yeah. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we'll wrap up for today. We'll run the car around in and then we'll see you on the second part of our test. Hello and welcome to the second part of our test. So we've done about uh, 300 kilometers. Yes, about 300. Yeah, so the product should be all good in the engine, all uh, circulated. In Running parts of the around nicely in the engine. Yeah. yeah, so what are we doing today? Today we are repeating the same test that we did in part one. The difference is we have the product in the engine. So we'll do the compression test and the fuel economy run. Yeah, let's see what we can get. Sure. Serpentinite. And, uh, it's, uh, I've heard of it before. It's called serpentinite because its texture is like yeah, it's snake skin. Yeah. Very, very smooth and glassy. Mm. Yeah, so from, from what you've just read out loud, it sounds like they were using drills in a mining operation. Yeah. Then the drills, rather than getting worn out, they are getting better and better as you go along. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Going backwards, then you just make it. Uh, you, a drill is getting better as it drills. That's yeah. So I'm guessing that is, that special. must have been the origin of the Hado, Zado, Sado. Zado, Sado. The magic stuff. Uh -huh. Depends on your distance from Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it is um, on that side of Eastern, Eastern Europe. Eastern uh, Europe, yeah. yeah. The USSR, yeah. the Soviet Union. Oh, mm, that's interesting. So someone yeah. found out, they found the serpentinite and... That's used, it, uh, it. it used friction energy to uh -huh. reinforce the drill. Halfway through the test of day two, just arrived in Namanga and I'm looking at the fuel gauges are here. It's a bit higher than it was the last time. It is an interesting observation, but let's not jump to conclusions. We have to head back to Nairobi and see what is going on. So, we 
deluded. Yes. We have come to the end of the test. And we've got a compression of uh, 10 Yeah, now. 10. That was, that's up from 8.9. Yeah, that's an improvement of 1.1. And the fuel? The fuel was an improvement <laughs> of 3. three from 8.6 uh, to 11.6. Sounds uh, interesting, eh? This is interesting. It is interesting. It is interesting. We, we, we had doubts. Uh, we, yeah, we had doubts. Uh, we were, when we were in Amanga and we saw the fuel gauge was still all the way up. Exactly, yeah. It did like, look hmm. like uh, we were in for a surprise, let's say. We are in for a surprise. We've seen it. We've seen the and compression the, gauge. The ride? Ah, what do you ride? think about the ride? I, you, you drove and, mm -hmm. I, and I kept saying I, I felt like there was a bit of a change in the response from yeah, yeah. the engine. And then you said I, I should wait until I drive and I think I can, I can say I felt a bit of a change. We got where it just felt a bit those The slightly better response. Yeah. The engine is also a bit smoother. You yeah, remember that's true. on Tuesday it was buzzy and yeah. a bit yeah, heavy. A lot of noise especially when you Yeah, but now it's gotten a lot quieter. You know, to be honest, I didn't think that the product, the product would work, but... <laughs> it, it, is, uh, well, it is what it is. People lie, numbers don't. It is what it is. The <laughs> it numbers is are right is. there. Yeah, that, the, the numbers, numbers are right there. Yeah, so I, I think I would actually recommend if you try it. I think I would tell someone to try it and then, you know, also let us know what, what, what you think. I agree, I agree. But I'd say do it more of a preventative thing than a curative thing. No, no, not saying that it's, it's going to do everything for my car. I've yeah, been yeah. Having if a lot you blow your engine, gonna... don't think that putting it in is going to bring it back to life. <laughs> or pour it on the engine. Yeah, you blow your engine, the engine is gone. If your engine true. seizes, your engine is gone. If your engine needs an overhaul, just do an overhaul. This is not, it's not a wonder drug. Yeah, it, it's, it's not, not, it's not magic, drug. let's say. Yeah, it's just something that kind of improves your engine life. I think... Um, I'd say good show. Good show. Yeah, good show. Good show. See you on the next one. See you on the next one, man. Adios, man. Oh, cheers.